Hello friends. So I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys for a bit. This is probably going to be like super informal, but there has been a lot going on. There's been a lot that has been going on, is going on, will be going on. So I figure let's chat about it. I know I recently did an update video where I caught up on a lot of stuff and some of the stuff that I talked about in that we're going to be talking about again. But yeah, there's just been a lot and sorry about the lack of makeup if anybody cares. I don't think anybody's going to care. I feel like y'all have seen me out worse, but um, I'm actually working the latest London flight tonight. So the sign-in time is like not until like 9.44 p.m. I think it like takes off at like 11. So I'm trying to wait as long as possible before doing my makeup so it lasts as long as possible. So this is this is what you get. Anywho, that's not, <laughs> that's, that's not what you're here for. But before we jump into all of the uh, crazy stuff going on, I did want to go ahead and take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor. If you want to go ahead and give a big old shout out today's sponsor, which is Nectar. Nectar has given me the real MVP this summer, which is my mattress. You guys have seen it. I have been working these international trips back to back to back. I've still been keeping up with the cosmetic company, trying to get ready for some new launches. I've been doing social media. I've just been doing it all. And Nectar has kept me having the best night's sleep in between all of the chaos. So Chip and I have the Nectar Premier Copper Mattress in our bedroom, as well as in our guest bedroom. And every time we have guests over they rave about this mattress you guys like as soon as you lay down in it you just kind of like soak in like you and the mattress just become one like you know when you're looking outside like your airplane window and you just see the clouds floating that's what this mattress feels like it just feels like you're just floating on one of those clouds because the nectar premier copper mattress has a cover that contains copper fibers and copper is well known to help provide a cool to the touch or cooling sensation and the copper fibers help to quickly dispense any superficial heat transferred to it through touch help Hoping to provide a cooler sleeping experience. So underneath this cooling cover, there's also a first layer, which is four inches of infused gel memory foam. So this layer really helps for cooling, contouring, and comfort. There's also a second layer, which is one inch of soft foam for support, as well as a third layer, which is nine inches. And this is the standard foam base layer. And with Nectar, you have absolutely nothing to lose because they have free shipping and returns, a 365 night home trial, which allows you to bring the mattress into your home for 365 nights to try it out. That's how confident they are that you are going to absolutely love it, as well as there is a forever warranty available. So if you want a little slice of heaven yourself, go ahead to the link in my description box to go get yourself a Nectar mattress. And once again, thank you to Nectar for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I guess the first thing that we should talk about is Miss Gwen because you guys have been loving her. I've been putting her in more of the vlogs and she is our wonderful foster pup who we have been fostering from the Love Pit in Dallas. I will put their information down below if anybody's interested also in fostering. Do y'all hear Miss Gwen snoring? Can y'all hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it yet, but y'all will hear it because she can get loud. That girl can snore. But basically, let me break down a little bit further of what happened because in the first day of that video, I told y'all the day before we went to go meet with Miss Gwen's potential family. And y'all, we were nervous. I was nervous. I was like, oh my God, what if I don't like them? Literally, what if I don't like them? And I love Gwen. So I was like, if I don't like them and I love Gwen, I'm not going to want to give them Gwen. So I, I didn't know how it was going to go, but y'all, it was perfect. It was actually perfect. Like seeing them together, it was like watching like two puzzle pieces come together. That was the perfect match. Like I was so confident. I was so happy. I was like, I was like, yes. And we were ready to move forward with the adoption process. Everything was looking really good. But then in that video, as y'all saw from the next day, the next day Gwen had a seizure and that unfortunately was her second seizure in a week's time. And we had recently had to switch her medicines. So when that happened, all of a sudden her condition of seizures was no longer stable. So they had to put a pause on the adoption process for her. We're trying to get her back under like a stable condition where she's good to go. Her vets and then the love pit, everybody's working together to get Gwen where she needs to be. They have like a wonderful team of people all the way around the board. So I, I'm confident they're going to get it resolved. Fostering saves dogs lives, especially with these shelters when they're overfilled and shelters can be really, really scary and traumatizing for dogs. So to be able to have a dog, not in a shelter situation, but in a happy home, even if temporary, it's been great. So yeah, we, we've loved having her, but I will update you guys when, when we know more about what's going on with, with her adoption and her health and that sort of stuff. But speaking of health, let's talk about uh, my health. In um, a video before that other video, I'll be posting them all on the screen so you can see them. But in that, I 
ended out the video with you guys. I was outside of a dermatologist's office. I went to go get um, checked for skin cancer because I told you guys that flight attendants and pilots have a higher risk of skin cancer as well as breast cancer. So I was like, y'all need to go get checked. I'm getting checked. And I told y'all they were biopsying one mole and then there was another mole they took photos of and told me to come back in three months to get it looked at again. Well, I got the biopsy results for the first mole back and I freaked out because they posted the results and it said positive. And I was like, positive. And then, you know, your girl, I, I called them first. Actually, let me, let me break it down. I called them first. Nobody answered. I left a voicemail, but then, but then your girl, she's too nosy. I'm too nosy for my own good. So I went Google searching and I Googled away. And obviously, you know, when you Google anything, it's like, you're dying. That's basically what it says. It says, oh, you're dying. So I was freaking out. I was calling everybody I knew who might've had an experience like this, who, who might know something. And then eventually the doctor did call me back the next day. And she basically said that it was positive for abnormalities, but not positive for skin cancer, which I feel like maybe y'all should call and say that before you just post test results and say positive. But that's just my own personal opinion. So anyways, so the way my doctor described it to me, which I'm not a doctor, so take this for what you will, but she kind of said, you know, there are stages. So you have like mild, moderate, severe melanoma, which is skin cancer. So she said, I'm at the moderate point right here. So they're gonna go back in and take more of it out and then do another biopsy, make sure they got everything. So it's probably gonna have like a scar on the back of my leg, but I feel like that's the least of my worries. But yeah, definitely go do that, you guys, because this was not fun. This was really, really scary and I'm really, really lucky I caught it early. She did say, you know, you're more at risk for potentially developing melanoma, which is why it's so important to like go every single year to get checked. So this is your other PSA. I gave you one before, but this is your other PSA for confirmation that you need to go get checked and wear your sunscreen. The next thing, I'm sorry, y'all. I have like a bad memory. So I just threw some stuff in my notes that I want to talk to y'all about. The cosmetics. Okay. So Y'all know that I launched lip liners and thank you so much for everybody who has been shopping the liners, the lipsticks, the, the lip scrubs, the eyeshadow stuff, all, everything, everything at my storefront. I really can't tell you guys how like grateful I am for you guys. Like I, I just can't, it, it means the world to me, but um, I am also going to be doing another launch. I'm hoping it's gonna be this month in October. I'm trying to get everything ready to do a launch this month for two more items that I'm so excited about. I'm trying to get them, I know the holidays are around the corner, so I'm trying to get them live as soon as possible because I know both of them make really good gift ideas. So hopefully this month they launch. So stay on the lookout for that. Oh, also, how do y'all love this? I love this. So I'll try to stand up. I try to stand up, but I got this sweater. I got it in a large because I wanted it really baggy and comfortable and it has like a zip. Isn't, it, isn't this super cute? I got this on Amazon and I have been absolutely loving it. I think this is like my favorite thing I've ever bought from Amazon. I'm, I'm also wearing biker shorts right now and they're so plush. I have both of these. I'll link them both down below, but they're both in my Amazon storefront as well because a lot of you guys were asking me about, do you have an Amazon storefront? Because y'all know I love my Amazon videos. Um, so y'all were asking me about that and I did do an Amazon storefront. So I'll have all that linked down below for you guys. Um, anyways, okay, next thing, moving. In this update video, I was completely honest with y'all. I was talking about, you know, like we're kind of getting ants in our pants, we're ready to move, but we were not sure if we wanted to stay in Texas. And we were talking about different cities, different states, possibly different countries. We were just talking about a lot of stuff, just going back and forth with a lot of stuff, trying to make up our mind about what we wanted to do. I even had you guys, I was like, hey, throw some cities in the pot. Like I'd love to kind of talk about some things. Chip and I have gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, probably more than we should have. But um, I think we've ultimately decided right now that we're gonna stay in Texas, I think, I, I think. I don't wanna say that's 100% because it's, it's never 100%, especially not with us. I like to do a lot of things crazy last minute. So as of right now, I think we are gonna stay in Texas, but I think our timeline is looking like, I think in December. In December, we wanna start looking at houses again. I'm not sure that we're gonna get anything straight away. Like, I don't know that we're gonna buy immediately. It really just depends on what the market looks like, what houses are looking like. But I do know December's kind of that turning point where we're really gonna to wanna to start looking at houses and, and potentially moving soon. But I do wanna update y'all that we're most likely staying in Texas. I would like to get a house with a view, honestly. Like, that's something I really miss about North Carolina is I miss the nature, I miss the trees, I miss all the, the, the adventurous, the beautiful stuff out there. Like, all that stuff, it just speaks to my soul. So I'd like to get a house hopefully 
within a decent budget that has like a beautiful view. So we'll just have to see. And so maybe when we go house hunting, I will try to take you guys along if that's something you're interested in doing. Just let me know down in the comments, which I do read your guys' comments. Like even if I don't comment back to every single one, I definitely read a lot of them. So last time when I asked y'all about, do y'all like sit down videos like this? And mass majority of you told me yes. And I'm like, that means a lot to me. Cause then I'm like, all right, let's do another sit down video. I know also a lot of you guys were wanting like an updated um, makeup routine and stuff. If y'all still want that, let me know down below. I'm gonna get ready for my trip tonight, which I will be vlogging for you guys. We're going back to London and woo, I'm excited. So yeah, that's gonna be the game plan. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go to give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.